Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial by The Cold Project. So I want to show you guys a new machine today. So let's start with this. You know how you pay really expensive for the cobblestone that the quarry dig out. Like in power wise you really pay a lot. So you delete all that cobblestone because it's pointless. But then you need it again. So thermal expansion has added the igneous extruder. Now I think I'm saying that right. But I might be wrong. The igneous extru extru extruder, basically what it does is it can make either cobblestone, stone or obsidian depending on which one you need. Now this one's disactivated. So we can put it on. As you can see here that if it's making cobblestone, it's not actually taking anything out of our tanks. If we set it to stone however, for every piece of... It's a lot slower to make stone and obsidian, just sort of by the way it uses a bit of water. So if you set it to obsidian, you're gonna see that... Oh, we need to take that out. It's slow. It's pretty slow. And it will take both lava and water to make a piece of obsidian. But I suppose it could in its own way be worth it. Slightly. But also the other cool thing is it doesn't really require... It doesn't actually require power. It just automates... It's like a... This is basically a one block cobblestone generator. Okay, so you can fully automate this with pipes. As you can see, I've just uh, I've added making cobblestone. So I've got water, lava, pumping cobblestone into a chest. This hasn't been pumping for an awful lot of time and it's really, really going for it. As usual, you can just configure it in the tabs with what thing goes where. You select the end product in here and basically lava and water. So if you just wanted to make cobblestone, no lava or water is needed. So I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to really say about this. It doesn't require power, it doesn't always require any like water or lava. You do have to have like lava or water inside the machine though, otherwise it doesn't want to work. Okay, so that's it for the igneous extruder from thermal expansion. I hope you guys found this tutorial informational as well as fun to watch. I've got loads of other videos, so please go and check them out. Okay, that has been the Cold Project. See you guys in the next video.